This is an ABP Life podcast. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ladies First on ABP Life podcast. I am your host Niharika Nanda and on this show we talk to some rising and shining ladies of the 21st century, women who are making strides in the society all by their hard work and passion. And one such beautiful woman who is with me today is Miss Richa Mehta. Hello ma'am, how are you? Hi Niharika. First of all, thank you for having me today and I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I am good too. It is all my pleasure to have you here. Uh, so Miss Richa is an actor, uh, a model, a philanthropist. She is working. She initially uh, started her career as a financier and then you led on to became, you know, following your passion and becoming an actor. Absolutely. It was it, like it said, it's finance to passion. F square. To fashion, F square. Oh, that's really nice. So how did you know you make this transition? I mean, having an established career after doing Absolutely. an MBA is something that a lot of people dream about. And you had that with many established brands. And then you thought of following your passion. So was it, you know, scary? Was it tough? Was it easy? How was it? Very scary. Because uh, like, when we all are we mm. feel that, you know, that... Uh, Achhi naukri milni chahiye, hmm. you know, we have to make our parents proud right. and that's how uh, after 10th I did my um, commerce right. and then I did my graduation, I topped all 3 years in Delhi University oh, wow. then I knew that you know finance is the thing and EY, Ernst & Young being amongst the top 4 MNCs that's I thought right. that this is it, this I mean I want to, uh, you know this is my dream, I'll get it placed after MBA and it happened, I mean after M- doing MBA in finance that is that was the time when um, I was the only student who had placed in EY. Wow, that's amazing. But like dreams keep evolving. I keep saying that to wherever I go, that mm. dreams keep evolving. You should not stop yourself. Ki mm. Achieve hoga and then you are done. You're just doing your nine to five job and there are no right. no, nothing else which is there. Right. In 2017, when I was at my peak of my career, mm-hmm. Maybe I would right. not have been here because right. uh, you know switching from something which you were really sure about you have started throughout your life to something which you're not even sure about you're just pursuing your heart hmm. you're pursuing your hobby that was something which I did in 2017 right. when I left my job and in 2018 Feb when I did my groundwork in terms of understanding how the fashion industry really works and I did my first shoot with Rutu Kumar. And oh my god, the first shoot was with yes, Rutu Kumar. And then four and a half years, I'm in front of you, having endorsed brands internationally, mm-hmm. uh, doing top-notch fashion shows, uh, being actor to a lot of digital ads, TV mm-hmm. ads, OTT. There was no godfather, like mm-hmm. Jesse Bola Jate. But the film absolutely. game, the picture game, hmm. which really works, works with the Godfather in the, in the industry. And it's, I think it's always easier with the Godfather. Yeah, because industry. you know that you have. Hmm. and then you can just take your part right but it was not the case I made my Way uh, things on own. yes totally on my own moreover digital marketing without any course right. how to boost your ads hmm. how to make sure that you are being you know Seen just by be there people, yes right. being there uh, to applying for modeling assignments to applying for fashion shows to getting shortlisted for Straight away as showstopper. I still remember my Delhi Times fashion with the walk I did. It got so viral in 2021 that mm-hmm. people really adore which I did. And there's so many such examples in my life and all thanks to God. And of course my parents, my well-wishers, my friends, my followers, my fans that and I have been. Absolutely. And any one, you know, memorable moment in these four and a half years that you would like to share with us when you really thought, okay, I have made something, I have, you know, done something. So, uh, this is amongst my famous answer which I keep giving to a lot of uh, big channels or the uh, lot of people who keeps asking about this. One such thing was of course when my dad was being called on stage and said that, uh, can I now have the father of Richa Mehta, Mr. Balra Mehta on stage. Mm. And Papa came on stage and that was the time when uh, he was given shawl, mm-hmm. he was given an award. Mm-hmm. I, w- I got the Young Achiever in 2018. Mm-hmm. The very first year I stepped into this industry, yeah. I got this award in October, October, November, yes. And Papa was called on stage and he was so proud, he held it like, like a World mm-hmm. Cup. When you were uh-huh, right. like <laughs> full arms on, so he was like that and I lost him in 2021. Mm-hmm. And... Um, 
come what may so many awards i have done i represented india in nepal there's so many things which i have done in the entire year years but then uh, this is something nothing can never. compare to that one memory never come what may mm-hmm. film fair bhi shayad ho mm-hmm. then also i feel that this wo would be this wo nahi hoga absolute right. because it's a very you know jaise aajkal baat ho rahi hai core memory yes it is a core memory that has absolutely. been absolutely and i'm totally it when i got my tattoo after papa that is good. so it's it's something which is there and i would never forget and i still remember it so fresh mm-hmm. that because ho gaya hai 2018 se ab 2023 chal raha hai right all years ahead yes i still remember so fresh when papa went on stage and shawl given thi and he was doing like this and mm-hmm. he holded my award like this uh, it's it's you know it is ye ek waisi memory hai that you know on days when you're feeling low on days when you don't feel like yourself or you don't you know have that passion any more in you because you're tired the lows of life yes but such memories really give you that kind of motivation ki you no know, i did it back then i can do it still so of course i mean when you are in front of the camera and uh, whether it's posting something on social media or doing some shoot and you're not getting the right script or maybe you're not happy with what mm. what is happening or mm. maybe there are so many retakes that it really takes a toll on you or absolutely head. then these are those moments which you cherish and ek aur karke dekhte hain right. let's try once more let's and let's try one once more shot more. once more ho gaya tab bhi nahi ho raha let's try one i am amongst those mm. marka who doesn't give up mm. every day is a new day every right. day is a new start i have like bombarded with lot of things on social media <laughs> on on lot of other things ab main social media baba is to repeat kar rahi hu kyunki even the open platform jahan kahin bhi koi bhi likh deta hai likh deta hai bina soche samjhe and it takes a toll i mean it even comes. if there is a reel which is going viral mm-hmm. when you read the comments you feel that it's such to nahi hoti viral because ah. people are just trolling randomly writing such random comments right but then that's it then I mean, that's about gen x that's how, how things are taking mm-hmm. up but of course uh, if good good is there then so is the bad but bad when bad takes a toll then of course it's difficult to remember your good but you have to you because have to. life keeps moving i mean right. you cannot stop mm-hmm. you cannot come under the you know uh, you cannot uh, close the door of your room and you think that yeah, and just I'm sit done. there and i'm done that's not the, that's not how life works never right. and it should not we should it not should give not. up right and talking about you know social media and the entertainment industry and overall the industry that we've been in since four and a half years it's known to be very cutthroat it's known to be ki theek hai you know um, people don't care about others they're like mera kaam ho jaye and i'm done and being a woman comes with its own challenges because there are certain things that probably your male counterparts don't go through that you have to So have you faced any such struggles during your journey and if you did then how do you you know overcome them struggle every day is a struggle <laughs> i mean if you think about today mm-hmm. before coming here there was a struggle my team member who was supposed to deliver a project mm-hmm. uh, because it was supposed to go out today at 11 am it did not happen right and while even driving the car you know you have to make sure that it gets delivered because you have charged a bomb mm-hmm. to a client and you need to make sure that it, it is it gets delivered right. but it does not struggle comes with being on your own i mean mm-hmm. being an entrepreneur i am an entrepreneur i mean right. i come with i mean i have done things on my own i have my own path mm-hmm. and um, very first thing which happened with me was when i did my first show and mm-hmm. that was the time uh, right in the beginning in the beginning um, there were few people from my industry itself who said that ये तो बच्ची नहीं कर पाएगी यू नो शी इज जस्ट शी जस्ट केम एंड गो बिकॉज दे के नॉट सी अ यंगस्टर कमिंग इन एंड मेकिंग फॉर देम सेल्व एब्सोल्युटली एंड ऑन इट्स ओन ऑन इट्स ओन बीइंग रिस्पेक्टफुल टू अदर्स बीइंग आई मीन ग्रीटिंग एवरीबॉडी जो तुमसे छोटा है या तुमसे बड़ा है आप करके बीइंग जस्ट देयर इज समथिंग व्हिच वाज ऑलवेज माय फोर्ट है एंड आई ट्राई टू डू दैट आई ट्राई टू मेक श्योर दैट कम व्हाट मे आई वोंट लीव दैट सो lot of people who did not like me then and just because i have become what i have mm-hmm. 
they are the ones who write yeah they are the one who writes on my comments i'm proud of you we knew it that you're going to do it mm-hmm. the people who used to ignore my messages that time when i was mm-hmm. you know saying that give me a chance and mm-hmm. you know i would think that i would be able to do it i would be able to do, perform better in right. terms of the roles in terms of lot of other things which mm-hmm. an actor as an actor one goes through are the ones who are approaching me now and, and are the ones who are saying ki ye hamare liye kar do or we come here and we'll do it so struggle is just another way of uh, which an entrepreneur a person who is an On artist mm-hmm. it's something which is every day right. if you ask me one struggle this struggle every day i mean <laughs> i don't remember a day goes by and i'm going back home and sleeping and, and there's nothing happened to bahut aasan tha achhe na kabhi chez nikalega agar aasan hai to tum acha nahi kar rahe ho agar aasan hai to tum apna ko challenge nahi kar rahe ho ek better person becoming a better person or doing something for your career agar koi din acha hai na jahan aap lagta hai ki aaj bada smooth hi chala gaya iska matlab hai aapne usko bas kar diya jaane diya it was it was a it was a normal day you didn't do anything extraordinary absolutely so it comes hmm. every day i mean every day is a struggle hmm. and do you ever feel any discrimination because you're a woman and maybe some sort of an instance where you felt that you know there was some sexism happening or uh, you know misogynistic comments or something of that sort a lot of time hmm. i mean male female irrespective of you know me my, i myself stand for mental health in women absolutely and now people say that why it's not for men are sab kuch to males ke liye hai koi cheez to chhod do females ke liye so for me i mean starting this initiative at such a age was another answer to what you just asked because when i entered and there were so many things which were given to male mm-hmm. i mean i still remember i had to shoot for radio city uh, and uh, there was there was something when i when i came out i got a call mm-hmm. and they there was something which i was really looking for it's for it was for a tv ad mm-hmm. and they said that it's given to x person and that was a male mm-hmm. so aise bahut sare instances hai mere life mein jo ki of course main agar bol bhi du na ki mm-hmm. we are at par shayad jitni females hame dekh rahi hai wo bhi na shayad isko ek nahi kare because ye par karne mein hum koshish kar rahe hain lekin kya hum aa paaye hain i don't think so and that's how in 2021 uh, jan i started this social initiative you to hear which talks on women's mental health mm-hmm. lot of people ab usme bhi troll hua mm-hmm. they said that why it's not for kids why it is not for male i said tum log kar lo na male ke liye i am doing which i felt that nobody mm-hmm. was with me when i was alone right. uh, struggling my uh, things out for uh, you know for having a space in my career अब मैं चाहती हूँ कि मैं दूसरों के लिए हूँ ताकि वो मेंटल स्ट्रेस से स्टिग्मा से ना फेस करें क्योंकि स्ट्रगल्स तो होंगी द लीस्ट यू कैन डू इज हेल्प देम आउट इन अ वे दैट उतना स्ट्रेस ना हो उन्हें मेंटली वो इतने ज्यादा परेशान ना हो दैट इज द लीस्ट दैट यू कैन डू फॉर एनी अदर पर्सन बिकॉज सबके इंडिविजुअल स्ट्रगल्स रहेंगे सबको कुछ ना कुछ प्रॉब्लम आएंगी वो तो होगा ही होगा दैट इज एज यू से दैट एवरी डे फॉर एवरी एवरी वुमेन इवन इवन फॉर एवरी मैन इवन फॉर एवरी किड एवरी बडी बट talking about this like uh, that you also had certain mental pressures which you felt ki dusro ko nahi hona chahiye when you started ear to hear so can you tell us a little about the initiative so ear to hear works on women's mental health hmm. it was started by me alone uh, i just did a random facebook live where i said that and naam bhi maine socha tha because ear to hear to hear so this was something which was in my mind hmm. and uh, i started alone i just did a live session where i said that it's time to come forward and support each other mm-hmm. uh, it's time to come forward and be there uh, for the other person aur mere iski tagline hai problem mujhe bhi hai mm-hmm. lekin koi share karne wala nahi hai mm-hmm. and that's how your to your comes into the picture and say you can talk to me mm-hmm. i'm there for you mm-hmm. so that is what we are trying to do bas ek seed tha jaise hum dalte hain aur paudha ugta hai <coughs> so it was a seed which was done in 2021 and now we are in 18 states with over 5000 women That's who amazing. are the designation holders and who are part of ear to hear wahan pe sirf hum ek dusre ki problem sunte hain kyunki agar main aapko bolu ki aapke best friend aapko judge nahi karti hai aapki family judge nahi karti aap bologe aisa nahi hai everybody judges because shayad wo hamara bhala chahti hai ya shayad unka apna tarika hai hamare bare mein sochne ka ear to hear mein sirf we are ears to you we are here we hear you out we make sure that you are able to convey your message but we don't judge you right that's the issue. and something that even personally <coughs> that i have felt is that it's always easier to talk to someone who doesn't know you yeah. because of the same judgment reason because they don't know your entire history because they don't know anything about you 
it's always yeah. easier to share your problems with someone you don't know it's always easy because uh, you, you know that they don't have a baggage of mm. what richam hatha was right. before uh, before talking to you right. if i come to you and i tell you ki meri ye problem hai nihar ka and i feel that um ab bas sun lo hmm aap sun lo ki aap mujhe jante nahi right exactly. and you will solution nahi dungi main bas sunungi exactly the charm which i see on your face too, it will <laughs> it will remain बट इफ आई टॉक टू माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड क्योंकि वो सुन सुन के वो मेरे पूरे जिंदगी उसने सुना है कि बच्चा ये बोलने वाली ये बोलने वो खाना खाता रहेगा खाती रहेगी और वो सुनेगी अच्छा छोड़ना यार तो तो खाना वो वो आजकल मीम हो रहे ना यार मटर पनीर पे कंसंट्रेट करते बिकॉज़ उनको पता है कि शायद आई एम डूइंग That's not what you want. You don't want to hear that. You just want someone to listen to you while you rant or while you go on talk. I mean, I still remember the li- offline sessions. होते हैं जैसे there is somebody from Maharashtra, mm-hmm. 18 states. के तो मैंने ये भी सीखा ये और तो क्या हो कि सबका तरीका same चीज करने का बहुत अलग है. City by city, it really differs. Mm-hmm. So कोई अपनी sorry to say अपनी सास को गालियाँ दे रहा है. Mm-hmm. कोई अपने पति को बोल रहा है. Mm-hmm. You know, they are just sitting I mean they're sitting on a Zoom call and just talking just their talking. heart out कोई रो देता है कोई तेज तेज चिल्लाने लग जाता है it's no, it's okay hmm. it's okay to you know even if you're shouting because right. you know that nobody is hearing it's just hmm. a way of taking out things बहुत सारे actors करते हैं they take their uh, car in a lonely place and they shout shout right बहुत hmm. सारे हम जैसे लोग hmm. मैं भी there are times I drive why so why people ask why do you drive That's the only place where You're I'm alone. Alone, I'm listening to my songs. I'm doing whatever I like. ऐसा नहीं है कि तुम, you know, you can't keep a driver or there are other things which you cannot right. do. But Absolutely. it's not. I mean, stop judging. It's fine. Yeah. I want to drive, so I'm driving. Mm. So let people live. Exactly. So that's what Air Tour is all about, mm. and we are just being there. And so, yeah. and gradually, it's, it has become such a big family, and. I feel so proud. We just meet once a year, mm-hmm. which is twenty six July. It's fixed. Mm-hmm. Everybody comes from their own cities. Delhi is the hub because I stay in Delhi, so everybody comes from their own cities across India. And when they meet, कोई किसी के लिए कुछ खाना बना के ला रहा है, कोई किसी के लिए gift ला रहा है. And when you are just there, now the vibes are so strong, mm-hmm. so powerful that you feel it. Mm-hmm. This is something done by heart and not right. by mind. Right. So that's here to here. Absolutely, and uh, you have you know a lot of girls, young girls, dream about what you have done. You know, being uh, wearing a Ritu Kumar outfit is just a dream, but you walked on the ramp on it. So, how was that feeling like? Well, not just Ritu Kumar. You have done. You have worked with so many amazing them. designers, and Ritu Kumar is just one example that you know women just dream of being with and wearing an outfit of. So, how was that like? So I was doing it before as well, but mm-hmm. I was doing it in bits and pieces. So eleventh class, my Pearl Academy ka koi camp campaign tha when I was in eleventh class, and somebody came to me and said that you do it, you look good, you have an Indian Punjabi face, you should right. do it. And uh, I went to Papa and Mama and said, "Ki karlu," mm-hmm. because they are paying me X amount. So I had pocket money, so I said, "Yeah, okay," and they agreed. That's okay. Okay. It was. Uh, it was for a sadarni bride if mm. i remember it correctly and it went well mm. so i was doing in bits and pieces but not as a wholesome mm. and when i first walked the ramp acha ye bhi ek catch hai which mm. lot of people don't know that i've never learned how to walk on ramp okay I'm so you're natural take, <laughs> i've not taken course but it's just that so in your life whenever you do something confidently mm. it showcase here right. that people forget what is happening you know mm. otherwise otherwise so When I walked the ramp, I just starting me. When I was doing it, I was scared. You know, from backstage when everybody having an eye on you, because you're walking alone. There are hundred thousand of people. And me, sir, glitch me. Who is? I mean, there are many times that I'm walking. So, sometimes my legs are hanging out. Sometimes, you know, you are just trip Haan. or not, not falling, right. but then trip. Haan. And then maintaining your calm and walking. At one point, me, I got such. Uh, I mean, I thought that when I was like that, and it was a very big show, very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show which I was doing, and so I was very very big show
just so amazing and i still remember i mean I, everybody looking at you there are so many cameras in front of you there are people who are just there and the feeling is wow and but it doesn't take away from you being you right. there are a lot of ladies who are housewives they're still mm -hmm. performing well there are mm -hmm. a lot of people who are a corporate woman mm -hmm. they wanted their life in such a way i mm -hmm. mean guys at the end we should not envy others right why i'm taking this is because one such interview came like long back and then there were comments pouring in which said that we want such life we want this aap log jo kar rahe ho na wo hi bahut hai because my mom is a housewife mm -hmm. and she's much more busy than me agar main unko dopahar ke 2 baje se pehle chhed dun na meri shaam ho jati ha because she is so busy and she has mm -hmm. her own pattern of doing things right so we all are good in whatever we are doing and we just have to perform our best on sab ki life mai agar bolu main yarka ban jaao i know i will be an anchor and i have such beautiful cute smile wo nahi ho sakta because that's her trait i have my own trait so and i i cannot walk around but she can she is an expert and i cannot do that so that everybody has exactly everybody has their own traits and we should be very very proud and confident about that Absolutely, and uh, again another thing, you are also going to make your Bollywood debut yes. very soon, and uh, can you share a little detail about that? So, um, not really, I can share, but then mm -hmm. yes, of course. Thoda bol, thoda yes. Bol. So it was supposed to happen like couple of years back, okay. But uh, there was something which came into the picture, and I could not go for it because mm -hmm. then I had to shift to another city, right. the city which we all know. Mm -hmm. But I did not want to do that, and uh, come what may, I travel a lot mm -hmm. because I mean, just say I'm the brand face for Total Care. Mm -hmm. That company is based in Ludhiana. Right. So I you have to travel to Ludhiana. There are a lot right of things which I keep doing. Like I mean, I've done so many shows for Clovia. Seventy mm -hmm. plus cities I've done those shows where I go for the inauguration, and there are women who are coming to meet me. So. I travel a lot, but then I never want to switch my base from Delhi. Hmm. Though I keep going, shuffling between Mumbai, Delhi, quite Dilli, a lot. Delhi, 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 Delhi. And plus, my family stays here. Mama right. is here. My brother is already in Dubai. Hmm. Uh, he keeps coming and going. I don't want to leave Delhi. Chahe wo jitna bhi smog hai, matlab. Jo bhi hai, matlab left Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. Nothing changes. Exactly. That. We can live with the smog. <laughs> We are living with the smog. We are living with the smog. So um, exactly. Like being said that for the Bollywood movie, yes. it's on the cards mm -hmm. and uh, it was on cards from long but then of course i had to leave that project because mm -hmm. of some personal reasons now we are back on track Finally and you're going to see damn how when like approximately when so it should be up by next year end okay looking forward to it thank you thank you so much ucha for joining me today it was truly amazing talking to you and thank all you so the much. very very best for all the initiatives that you're working on and of course your bollywood debut thank you so much nihalka for having me on abp and it was such an honor to be here and looking forward to see you soon absolutely once again probably when you'll have your debut <laughs> done done <laughs> done okay so keep listening to ladies first on abp live podcast